A multifractal system is a generalization of a fractal system in which a single exponent is not enough to describe its dynamics. Instead, a continuous spectrum of exponents is needed. Multifractal systems are common in nature, especially geophysics. They include fully developed turbulence, stock market time series, real-world scenes, the sun's magnetic field time series, heartbeat, dynamics, human gait, and natural luminosity time series. Models have been proposed in various contexts ranging from turbulence in fluid dynamics to internet traffic, finance, image modeling, texture synthesis, meteorology, geophysics and more. The origin of multifractality in sequential data has been attributed to mathematical convergence effects related to the central limit theorem that have as foci of convergence the family of statistical distributions known as the Tweedy exponential dispersion models as well as the geometric Tweedy models. The first convergence effect yields monofractal sequences and the second convergence effect is responsible for variation in the fractal dimension of the monofractal sequences. From a practical perspective, multifractal analysis uses the mathematical basis of multifractal theory to investigate data sets, often in conjunction with other methods of fractal analysis and lacunarity analysis. The technique entails distorting data sets extracted from patterns to generate multifractal spectra that illustrate how scaling varies over the data set. The techniques of multifractal analysis have been applied in a variety of practical situations such as predicting earthquakes and interpreting medical images. Definition in a multifractal system, the behavior around any point is described by a local power law. The exponent is called the singularity exponent, as it describes the local degree of singularity or regularity disambiguation needed around the point. The ensemble formed by all the points that share the same singularity exponent is called the singularity manifold of exponent H, and is a fractal set of fractal dimension D. The curve D versus H is called the singularity spectrum and fully describes the distribution of the variable. In practice, the multifractal behavior of a physical system is not directly characterized by its singularity spectrum D. Data analysis rather gives access to the multiscaling exponents. Indeed, multifractal signals generally obey a scale invariance property which yields power law behaviors for multi-resolution quantities depending on their scale. Depending on the object under study, these multi-resolution quantities, denoted by in the following, can be local averages in boxes of size, gradients over distance, wavelet coefficients at scale. For multifractal objects, one usually observes a global power law scaling of the form, at least in some range of scales and for some range of orders. When such a behavior is observed, one talks of scale invariance, self-similarity or multiscaling estimation. Using the so-called multifractal formalism, it can be shown that, under some well-suited assumptions, there exists a correspondence between the singularity spectrum and the multiscaling exponents through a Legendre transform, while the determination of calls for some exhaustive local analysis of the data, which would result in difficult and numerically unstable calculations. The estimation of the relies on the use of statistical averages and linear regressions in log-log diagrams. Once the unknown, one can deduce an estimate of thanks to a simple Legendre transform. Multifractal systems are often modeled by stochastic processes such as multiplicative cascades. Interestingly, the receives some statistical interpretation as they characterize the evolution of the distributions of the as goes from larger to smaller scales. This evolution is often called statistical intermittency and betrays a departure from Gaussian models. Modeling as a multiplicative cascade also leads to estimation of multifractal properties. 
This method works reasonably well even for relatively small datasets. A maximum likelihood fit of a multiplicative cascade to the dataset not only estimates the complete spectrum, but also gives reasonable estimates of the errors. Practical application of multifractal spectra. Multifractal analysis has been used in several fields in science to characterize various types of datasets. This is done using graphs known as multifractal spectra that illustrate how the distortions affect the data. Analogous to viewing the data set through a distorting lens, as shown in the illustration, several types of multifractal spectra are used in practice. DQ versus Q1 practical multifractal spectrum is the graph of DQ versus Q, where DQ is the generalized dimension for a data set and Q is an arbitrary set of exponents. The expression generalized dimension thus refers to a set of dimensions for a data set. Dimensional ordering the general pattern of the graph of DQ versus Q can be used to assess the scaling in a pattern. The graph is generally decreasing, sigmoidal around Q equals zero, where DDD, as illustrated in the figure, variation in this graphical spectrum can help distinguish patterns. The image shows D spectra from a multifractal analysis of binary images of non, mono, and multifractal sets. As is the case in the sample images, non- and monofractals tend to have flatter D spectra than multifractals. The generalized dimension also offers some important specific information. D is equal to the capacity dimension, which in the analysis shown in the figures here is the box counting dimension. D is equal to the information dimension, and D to the correlation dimension. This relates to the multi in multifractal whereby multifractals have multiple dimensions in the D versus Q spectra but monofractals stay rather flat in that area. Versus another useful multifractal spectrum is the graph of versus. These graphs generally rise to a maximum that approximates the fractal dimension at Q equals zero, and then fall. Like DQ versus Q spectra, they also show typical patterns useful for comparing non, mono, and multifractal patterns. In particular, for these spectra, non- and monofractals converge on certain values. Whereas the spectra from multifractal patterns are typically humped over a broader extent, generalized dimensions of species abundance distributions in space. One application of DQ versus Q in ecology is the characterization of the abundance distribution of species. Traditionally, the relative species abundances is calculated for an area of study without taking into account the positions of the individuals. An equivalent representation of relative species abundance is a species ranks and this can be used to generate a surface called the species rank, surface which can be analyzed using generalized dimensions to detect different ecological mechanisms like the ones observed in neutral theory of biodiversity, metacommunity dynamics or niche theory. Estimating multifractal scaling from box counting. Multifractal spectra can be determined from box counting on digital images. First, a box counting scan is done to determine how the pixels are distributed. Then, this mass distribution becomes the basis for a series of calculations. The chief idea is that for multifractals, the probability of a number of pixels appearing in a box varies as box size to some exponent, which changes over the image, as in EQ 0.0 NB. For monofractals, in contrast, the exponent does not change meaningfully over the set, is calculated from the box counting pixel distribution as in EQ 2.0 equals an arbitrary scale at which the set is examined equals the index for each box laid over the set for an equals the number of pixels or mass in any box. At size equals the total boxes that contained more than zero pixels. For each is used to observe how the pixel distribution behaves when distorted in certain ways as in EQ 3.0 and EQ 3.1.
equals an arbitrary range of values to use as exponents for distorting the data set when eq 3.0 equals 1, the usual sum of all probabilities, and when every term is equal to 1, so the sum is equal to the number of boxes counted. These distorting equations are further used to address how the set behaves when scaled or resolved or cut up into a series of sized pieces and distorted by Q. To find different values for the dimension of the set, as in the following, an important feature of EQ 3.0 is that it can also be seen to vary according to scale raised to the exponent in EQ 4.0. Thus, a series of values for can be found from the slopes of the regression line for the log of EQ 3.0 versus the log of for each, based on EQ 4.1. For the generalized dimension, is estimated as the slope of the regression line for log A, Q versus log where, then is found from EQ 5.3. The mean is estimated as the slope of the log-log regression line for versus where, in practice, the probability distribution depends on how the dataset is sampled. So optimizing algorithms have been developed to ensure adequate sampling.